I'm Stormwatch meteorologist Alyssa Carsley with a look at your web weather. Well, happy first day of fall today is the beginning of the autumn equinox, really not starting until this afternoon, right around 4.02 p.m. So let's talk about the autumn equinox real quick. Well, usually the northern hemisphere for the summer is tilted towards the sun, which is why we have warmer temperatures and the southern hemisphere has their winter time. And then for our winter, the southern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun and we are tilted away, which gives us the winter and then the summer. For the equinox, which happens twice a year, one once before spring and once right as fall starts, the sun is directly over the equator, allowing everyone on Earth to have equal daytime as well as equal nights. However, those falling temperatures are nowhere in sight. Even though today is the first day of fall, temperatures are above average for this time of year. 71 is our average temperature, hitting 81 for today. Our weekend in the low to mid 80s, especially for tomorrow, hitting 83 degrees. And we really, really don't have a cool down begin next week in sight. Now, why are we so warm all of a sudden? Well, you see this arch over this high surface high pressure right here. That's called upper level ridging. We're looking at the jet stream right now, which separates the cooler trop or tro cooler Arctic air from the warmer tropical air. So we have the upper level ridging associated with upper level high pressure as well as surface high pressure. Now, usually we associate high pressure with sunny, sunny skies, warmer temperatures, as well as no rain in sight, which is why we're staying dry. We have upper level high pressure and surface high pressure connecting together, giving us beautiful weather for this weekend as well as dry conditions over the next couple of days. Now, when do we begin to see that cooler temperature temperatures moving in? Well, that high pressure over the next week slowly making its way back down to the south and that jet stream beginning to relax a little bit and move and scoot over closer to us. So really we won't begin to see any of those cooler temperatures moving in until the end of next week. And we'll have a cold front swing through, giving us a little bit of taste of fall as we head into next week. Now by cooler temperatures, I don't mean we're going to be back in the 60s. We're going to still be in the 70s, still a little bit above average, but cooler nonetheless. Now today, overall, still warm 70s and 80s throughout the area, partly cloudy skies, so still a warm day on the way. And tonight, really nothing changing for our overnight lows, staying in the upper 50s, lower 60s throughout the area, and our weekend looking beautiful and perfect. Nothing to complain about. No rain in sight. Humidity making it feel comfortable outside. Not a lot, a lot of humidity out there and temperatures staying warm. And like I said, no cool down in sight heading into early next week. Now heading into Wednesday as well as Thursday. Temperatures finally dropping back off into the upper 70s for Wednesday and then the mid 70s for Thursday. Still above average though and that rain chance scooting itself back in for Wednesday just around 20% and then Thursday as that cold front approaches about 40%.